Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sarah Sadek, an orthodontist from London. I hope this video finds you, your friends and your loved ones in good health during these more difficult and challenging times of the COVID-19 virus. The situation is changing daily and we're all trying to keep on top of it. This video is produced using current guidelines of NHS England and after speaking to a few dental colleagues across the globe, I believe most are dealing with this crisis in a similar way. NHS England and the Department of Health have asked all dental practices to prioritise urgent dental treatments where possible. This guidance was produced to reduce the risk of virus transmission to you, to dental staff and to our patients. I've produced this video to help you understand what is being classified as urgent and non-urgent dental care and simple tips and tricks you can do at home to alleviate some of your symptoms and any dental worries you may have. So let me start by explaining what non-urgent dental care is currently being classified as and it's these problems that may need to wait until your dentist reopens. These problems include loose or lost crowns, bridges or veneers, broken, rubbing or loose dentures, bleeding gums are also classified as non-urgent, broken, chipped or loose fillings, chipped teeth with no pain and loose orthodontic wires. There are a few things that you can do to help in the management of common dental problems. The first condition that I will discuss is tooth sensitivity. Now this is a common dental problem. If you have extreme sensitivity to hot or cold, sensitive toothpastes can help. You need to rub the toothpaste directly onto the affected area and don't rinse afterwards. And you want to leave the toothpaste onto the affected area for as long as possible. You may find that doing this overnight is the best time to do this. And you may also need to repeat this. An anesthetic gel, such as Aura Gel, can also help to ease some of the pain you may be experiencing due to tooth sensitivity. Another common dental problem is bleeding gums. Bleeding from your gums isn't classified as a dental emergency. Bleeding gums are usually due to gum disease and your gums won't stop bleeding until your brushing improves. You need to make sure that you're brushing your teeth twice a day with a fluoride toothpaste for at least two minutes, focusing on the gum margin. You also need to clean in between your teeth using TP brushes or floss every day. Another common dental problem are mouth ulcers. Mouth ulcers usually heal within seven to 10 days. And there are things that you can do to help ease pain caused by mouth ulcers. You can use warm, salty water mouthwashes. Diflam mouthwash can also help. This has an anti-inflammatory and numbing effect. Make sure you continue cleaning your mouth thoroughly even if you have mouth ulcers. I know it might be painful but you still need to clean your teeth and make sure you're careful to avoid the mouth ulcer. Using a corsidil or chlorhexidine mouthwash may help and should be used for a maximum of one week. A soft diet can also help if you suffer from mouth ulcers. Another common problem is wisdom tooth pain. Most of these flare-ups can be managed with good home dental care. This involves thoroughly cleaning the wisdom tooth and the gum around it even if it's painful. We also advise using a corsidil or chlorhexidine mouthwash for a maximum of one week. Warm salty water mouth rinses can also help to reduce inflammation and kill bacteria. A soft diet also helps and use painkillers if needed. However, if you have difficulty swallowing or there's a swelling in your cheek, then you may need antibiotics. In this case, please call your dentist or NHS 111. Rubbing dentures. Denture adhesives like Fixident may help to secure a loose denture and sharp edges can be filed using an emery board. So if you're in pain, how should you manage it? Over-the-counter painkillers can help in managing toothache and these should be taken in accordance with instructions on the back of the packet. Patients who have confirmed COVID-19 or they believe they have COVID-19 should take paracetamol in preference to ibuprofen. Now there are some situations where you would need urgent dental care that I will now discuss. If you have a facial swelling extending to your eye, your neck or the floor of your mouth, if you have recently had an extraction and the socket is still bleeding after applying a solid pressure on the area for 20 minutes with gauze, if you have bleeding due to trauma, if you have a severely broken tooth 
or a tooth that has fallen out with pain. If you have toothache that is preventing you from eating or sleeping combined with swelling or fever that is not manageable with painkillers, please call your dental practice if you are suffering from these problems and they will be able to refer you to one of the dental centers opening up across the country to deal with these emergencies. More severe emergencies for which you'll need to go straight to A&E are facial swellings affecting your vision, breathing, or preventing mouth opening greater than two fingers width. So if you can't open your mouth greater than two fingers width due to swelling, then you do need to go to A&E. Trauma causing a loss of consciousness, double vision or vomiting. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has been useful at clarifying what will be classified as urgent and non-urgent dental problems. I hope I've given you some useful tips, tricks and advice to help you in dealing with common dental problems. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, as always, please hit that subscribe button. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.